so I am doing production system here that is chord based. Now you can use the chord pads in um, Cubase, which will control uh, a style arranger like One Man Band. Uh, one Man Band is synchronized to Cubase, so when I choose the chords, they are synchronized to the bars in Cubase, and I get the chord progression recorded. I also use an extra app, um, which is a chords map. Now these are the setup settings. Chords map as you can see here, it does not have a options menu. It's a very simple app. Um, so there is no MIDI out to select. You can select the instruments within that MIDI, but it uses the default Windows system MIDI. Now the thing on Windows 7 is this, is, this cannot be changed. Um, those settings have vanished. However, I managed to find the app that does it. Um, it's, it's called a uh, Kuschlauge Vista MIDI uh, along those lines. Um, I should be able to pronounce that better. Kuschlauge Vista MIDI Mapper Control Panel. Uh, you download this and then you run the uh, file. And see here, you can choose whichever um, MIDI out you want as default. Now, I have set Windows default, which is basically a new channel I've created here in Loop MIDI, which is a virtual loopback MIDI cable, so that when I play this, it will play the loopback cable, and that loopback cable will go straight into Cubase. And it goes in on this channel here, which uh, mirrors off to loop the internal MIDI, which is set to this settings loop B MIDI. All right, so as we can see now, keyboard control, I have set loop B internal MIDI. So there we go. That is controlling the chords. Now, as for the slave <coughs> system, meaning the MIDI clock, I have the MIDI clock out set as project syn synchronization. Now, I'm having MIDI clock out going out of door one and two, which are actually part of my loop B MIDI. You can have any MIDI, um, virtual MIDI cable you want to use there. So I have it going out one or two, and then in one man band, I have it set. So, synchronization, slave, and that is on the out door. So there we go. Now, there's a very important aspect here that must be set. The confirm restart must be off for it to work properly. Otherwise, it will not properly synchronize. Um, and if we want to have a quick example, let's have a look at it in action. Of course, within um, when I have all these um, virtual MIDI loopback devices um, set up, I should make sure that there is no loops going on. Um, so that uh, so that in that way what I mean is a device set up. Ah oh, it's too difficult. Let's not worry about it now. Alright, so As you can see, it is synchronized perfectly. Stop and start. Thank <laughs> you. 
the reason it skips occasionally is because the screen grab software is crashing with my audio software. So occasionally you will hear the audio skip, but uh, you get the idea.